Welcome to another Vanderfield VNAP video on exporting HIC cotton data. Now if your HIC application controller has the 14.1 software update, a lot of the setup information is pre-populated from the resources page. You'll still need to enter the GIN ID, the producer ID, however the machine pin or serial number should self-populate. Now if you've finished picking or prior to delivery of your round bales, you'll have to export this data to your computer to be able to email it to the cotton gin. Depending on which display you have, it, it will be slightly different. For a GS3 2630 display, insert a USB into the display. Select Export. And then either create or select a profile name and click Begin Transfer. When it's finished, remove the USB and take it to your computer. For a GS2 2600 display, you'll need to power down the machine and wait for the screen to save and power down. Then remove the compact flash and take this to your computer. Remember it's very important, before opening a text file on your computer, make a copy of the file. This copy needs to be converted to CSV to open in Excel and the original text file emailed or sent to the cotton gin. The information in this module ID file includes the module ID number, the module serial number, the latitude, longitude, date, time and tag count. That information is automatically populated. The GIN client ID, the farm, the field, the variety and the machine serial number are manually populated from your HIC run screen. So the location of this data is slightly different depending on which screen you use as well. For your 2630 you have a USB stick which has a GS3 2630 folder. Within there is a profile folder, RCD folder, file server folder. It's in this file server folder where we find the module ID text file. The 2600 is a little bit easier, have a compact flash card, has an RCD folder and a file server folder. The module ID file, text file is also in this file server folder. So to be able to view the information in this file, we need to make a file conversion using Microsoft Excel. So we need to save this module ID text file to your desktop and follow the process to convert to CSV in Microsoft Excel. Firstly open Excel, click File, and then click Open. Now we need to change the file type to all files. Click on desktop. Now navigate up and down till we can find the module ID text file and select it. Now click open. When the text import wizard starts we need to select delimited. Click next. Deselect tab but select comma. Click Next and then click Finish. So this is the completed conversion. As you can see each bale has all the information clearly visible. Remember to save a copy of this for later reference and to email the original text file to the cotton gin. Well that concludes yet another VNet video. Remember, for all your AMS technical support, please call our call centre on 1300 MyVTAC. That's 1300 69 8822.